So thank you to everybody that is tuning in. I am John Cia. I know y'all know that already. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me good? Let me know in the chat. Talk to us today. Let me know in the chat if y'all can hear me good. I am so tired. When I say I have been, I have been working, and this this show is not about to be about me, but I'm telling you, y'all, I really put my foot on the gas in these last couple months because I I I'm just I just refuse to let Hollywood decide what they're going to do to my life and the time they're going to do and everything. So I've just been doing my own things, trying to just put my just put my foot on the gas, staying busy, and I'm, I'm busted. But I'm here. But I'm here right now. And we got... I'm serious. I know I say this every week, <laughs> but I really do... I, this really is one of my favorite people out here. And I know I say <laughs> this every week, but <laughs> most of the time, the people y'all see on the show are my favorite people. I don't... I don't do stars. I don't do celebrities. I don't do things like that. And I know a whole bunch of y'all seen that Shantae Wayans was in the house and got all excited and all that. Y'all got groupified, and that's fine. Because, we, we, you know, every now and then we need to bring a mega superstar. The other people are just regular superstars. Every now and then a mega superstar got to sit on the couch with, you know, this mega superstar. So, my girl Shantae. Hey. Shantae what is up, in the house. I don't even want to say Shantae Wayans. I know you're sick of that shit. <laughs> I love, I love the name. I love the name. I just, you know, it's. I just, man, come like, on. you just your own motherfucking person. I know. Now, I love it though. Y'all need to understand that this chick right here, y'all. She way more than what y'all think. She is one of the most down the earth. Because out here, y'all, it's people that everybody's a star, first of all, out here, by the way. <laughs> Everybody is a star. Let's just start there. From the homeless all the way up to the real <laughs> stars. Everybody, I don't care what you're doing out here in L.A., y'all, you're always doing something. Mm -hmm. I ain't never seen a town where everybody, no matter what, we all doing something. Right. Which is probably true, but it's not to the level. Like, I was on the phone the other day arguing with my baby father. He like, so what? Uh -huh. I'm like, yeah, everything I said I wanted to do, I did it. You know what I'm saying? I became a school teacher, a hairdresser, a comedian. He like, <laughs> you, okay, you get the fuck. <laughs> like, the level of that shit you on, you ain't nothing. Like, he going on me, right? right? He was going on me so bad that I went I went live with it. He didn't even know other people was listening to him. They were like, he a hater. He, he was like, don't nobody care. You not even funny on stage. Wow. Nobody even know you. Like, he doing wow. the most. But I, I see where he coming from because that's how Sounds I be feeling better. sometimes about people out here. It's like okay. Yeah. Like, okay. But but the thing is, I will say about you, you're very humble. I've always noticed that you were never and you can just be cocky because of your name. You ain't even got to be cocky because of nothing else. Right. But not only you, <laughs> you and all your entire family is so, you're so humble. Yeah, They're not like you know what I'm saying? They remind me, y'all remind me of my family. We we were just we just a huge, close, tight knit, yeah. funny, funny family. I, you guys, you guys are so humble. Yeah. And one thing about you, Shantae is approachable. That's how I got the. That's how I started. I started with a cigarette in my hand, <laughs> so I could calm down <laughs> from the energy that's coming over. <laughs> I'm high beta. No, but it's true. I think. I think one of the dopest things about having such a big family was you didn't really have time to, you know, there was no ego. There was always exactly. people around you to keep you in that place. And, you know, myself, my brother, my cousin Craig, uh, we grew <clears> up <throat> it with the... <laughs> like, we say, like, Craig, we, <laughs> stop the interview. Stop why, the interview. Why the voice like, change? <laughs> <laughs> makeup, saying, makeup, guys. <laughs> I, I forgot it all. Like, That's no. my, uh, I love him. Um, yeah, but so we cool. grew up already with them. And I think seeing that, like poor life and then seeing the explosion again we still had that like tightness you know family thanksgivings and you know gatherings and all that stuff kept us in that space yeah you know what i mean but i was gonna say to add on to everybody doing stuff out here i think the i think the real issue now which is good and bad right everybody is doing everything mm. meaning nobody has a passion in one thing anymore or, you know, because the, the flip side is sometimes you just got to get stuff done yourself. But it seems like people who used to be dope videographers or dope photographers yeah. are also actors and producers. And you like, so nobody really 
wants to take that job serious, which kind of, you know what like, I mean? I like, I woke up the other day and I found out T.I. is a comedian. Yeah. Like, he I'm did like, a 30 minute set, yo. <laughs> a 30 minute set. He's been doing it for two weeks. No, see, and then, and then he's booked <laughs> everywhere. He just jumped over all of us. Yo. I've been doing this for 15 years. It don't even matter. But, I'm T.I. because I didn't put in all the rap time. But he did a 30 minute set on like a 10, 15 minute set because celebrities locally still get 10, 15 minute spots. Like it ain't nothing. Like it ain't nothing. But you came in and did 30 minutes. You, and, and talked about the journey. I mean, go ahead, T.I. You know what I mean? We all start somewhere. I ain't even mad at you, brother. I ain't even mad. I, you know what? I don't even have time to be <laughs> hating. Because I, I look at it like this. You done clearly made the path. And right. L.A. is about, L.A. don't care nothing about you. They just care where they where, what they can get from yeah. you. As far as the actual business, yeah. so he gonna sell out everywhere. He got on the stage. Hey, I want to open for him. And, <laughs> right, and the crazy thing is, if the jokes don't work, he just he go into the deal. And that's all he gotta do. Like, we can write him a set. We can be right. like, yo, all you need to do is just every time this go down, just hit this. <laughs> every time you bomb, play this track. Yeah, he probably don't even know what a bomb is. Right, the nigga just started comedy two weeks ago. <laughs> I look like everybody. You notice though, yeah. everybody want to be a comedian. Everybody. It don't everybody. even matter. I remember it's one of the dopest artistries in. Uh, I think in the it's game. because it's a, uh, it's a quick satisfaction too. Yes. More so than acting. Like it takes you acting. We gotta learn the script. We gotta go on set. We gotta do this. We gotta do that. You know? Yes, but also uh, stand up makes you say things that you probably can't say in a serious conversation. If you could find the funny in it. You know That's what I'm true. saying? That's true. You literally, it's it's therapy. It's like I want to vent, but I know this is funny. That's true. And see, me, I'm one of those comics where a lot of people, they can't put their finger on me as yeah. far as um sets and stuff like that. And I know I got to work on that. Yeah, you need a set and all this whatever. I just like to get up there and tell my truth. Yeah. I just like to tell my story. Yeah tell what's going on at the time yeah. or whatever and I'm just that comic I mean God naturally thank God made me naturally funny so that's kind of like a little that gives me a little curve yeah yeah well I, I may not have to work as hard as a person that has to like write and write act down. out and do all of this yeah. stuff like that I can just write hell shit it won't even wash off my hand right, right, right. I had a show <laughs> yesterday and I just wrote three topics that I'm gonna talk about <laughs> to on my on. hand and I can just you go can just... from that I, yeah, a lot of, I mean, I, I commend you because there's a lot of, uh, fe not a lot of females, but there's certain females that know how to just, they got that gift of gab. Me, you know, as a storyteller, it's, I, you know, I can come up with jokes on the spot here and there, but I like I like it segueing together, you know what I mean, and putting it out there. But what I will say is, though, I think it's, and I don't know if you shot anything yet, but I think that's when you have a show that you're about to shoot to do a set. I think that's when it becomes about yeah. having a set because it's like you need to know these work in different areas. Right, right. <laughs> to, to like if Netflix call me right now, yeah. I ain't going to be able to do it. But I'm going to tell you something. I killed the Inglewood last night. <laughs> I'm in Inglewood last night. We talking, they talking about all the, it's like 85 million old people right. in there. And I finally got the vent about Instagram hoes. Right, right, and they right. And they just went in. I'm like, y'all, the hoes ain't like we used to be. Like, I had the whole crowd with me because they understood. Yo, um, that's but, hilarious. But I can't do that on Netflix. No. I literally you, need to, But I do have I mean, a set. I mean, you could, but it just depends on it. I but, have a set. Right. I really do have a set. It's just a set right. that I got a little food. Right. Yeah, it, like, came back. There you go. Oh yeah, that's a little bit of orange. Yeah, that. <laughs> I just didn't want to sit there because I would just watched you and that all <laughs> the rest of the show. <laughs> all right, so question though. Yeah. Who is Shantae? Like Dang. if I had to literally, we had to literally sit back and somebody was like, who who really is this girl? Like it's, it's some people like my mom, she probably don't know you. <laughs> like she Hilarious. probably But she know she know of you, but she wanna know like Okay, who is this person? Who is Shantae? Shantae is is open, uh, uh, original, mm -hmm. real, and uh, you know all about love. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? That's that's me in a nutshell. I like to have fun and I like to be in my own space. That's Shantae. You know, on stage, Shantae uh, puts out like real life. Uh, you know, an originality. I try to. I try to touch certain b buttons. I like to think of my my brand as trying to bring two worlds together. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That goes for straight and gay, uh, you know, men and female, that type of stuff. I'm a Gemini. You know, I do both ju- sides. Oh, well, you know hell, what I'm saying? You had to say nothing. You should have started. <laughs> when I say who is Shantae, you should just say I'm a Gemini. You know, so and you could have been like, oh, that Lord. question always makes you feel. It's like a, it's like a uh, interview. You know what I'm saying? When when somebody asks you if you catch somebody stealing. You know what you gonna do? You like I don't know. You gonna think I'm a snitch? Like, <laughs> or <laughs> I don't know how to break this to you, but this right now is an interview. Right. So, <laughs> <laughs> you're in a talk show right now, so I might be interviewing you just a little bit. That's that question. You feel like you gotta give them everything, <laughs> right? Like, who is Shantae? Well, you like, know, I love I mean, uh, I popsicle, right? <laughs> I hate that question. Like, yeah, I used to double dutch, but then I decided to come out. You right. know? And I hated double dutch. And I wanted to play football with my brothers. <laughs> like, like, that's not what I meant. Okay, okay. So tell me tell me one thing about you that nobody knows. Damn. Yeah, see? See? One thing about me. I want to know something about you that you have not told many people. Like, seriously, like. I, I like to. When uh, you leave here, we want to, we going to personally you know. You trying to get personal. I'm about to no. say something. I, I like to sniff things. Okay. Good and bad. Are you serious? <laughs> you just smell everything. Yeah. I mean, like, don't like, put something in my face. But, like, I, it's one of those things where <laughs> if you like, oh, this thing. And I'm like, oh, let me smell. <laughs> and I guess. <laughs> and I'm the exact opposite. If you say something stinking, be like, don't put it on. No, because I, I need this. to know, like, how bad so I can have the same, like, ugh, face with you. <laughs> I need to. I like, like, creases and stuff. Like, I just. Creases? Yeah. You like to smell, like, in weird. between fat people or something? Well, I want to say, I never did that. That's crazy. I should try that. But. <laughs> well, I took a bath I mean, like, under like here. I don't take them all the time. <laughs> can, I, can I say something so my sister ain't out there by herself? <laughs> I'm the same way. Yes, yes. I, I sniff my wife's underarm. Yes. All, and her neck. All yes. She, I don't know if she hates it. She yeah. probably does. I don't know. It yeah. don't matter to me. I don't care. Yeah, she yeah. Knows. I she mean, probably, probably be like, like, oh my yeah, God. Yeah, like get that good. Uh, you know I what I mean? Put my whole face in it. Yeah. Weird. I don't know. But what's the it's like if I needed to like do a search, I could find my fiance. <laughs> <laughs> like if you I don't even folded. need the German Shepherd. Yeah, <laughs> you know how they be having those videos of the kids, the kids be blindfolded and the, and the mama hug them, yeah. and they see if the kid know who their mama is. <laughs> so I'll say, be like, I would be in a spot. Oh, this her right here. No, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell automatically, but yeah, it's it's weird. That's so freaking weird. <laughs> That's Thank weird. you for for coming yeah. in with me. I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell y'all something about me that somebody probably wouldn't know, and the shit is going. I, I, my mother's gonna be pissed that I say this. <laughs> Matter of fact, everybody be pissed every time I say this. But I just I can't be nothing but real, and I probably the bigger I get, I probably will stop being real about this one thing. But I'm a dirty girl. You dirty. I'm dirty as a mother. <laughs> like, I don't know what y'all mean when I, I mean I don't I don't I don't stink or nothing like that, yeah. but. I'm one of the motherfuckers that every single day I have to say, John C, you, you got to take a shower today. Get your ass in the shower today. Like, I did, most people just, that's just some normal shit for them. My dirty ass be like, God damn, I got to get a, get up early and shower and lotion. Like, y'all know how I'm always ashy? Because I fucking don't feel like lotioning and just, yeah. yeah that's, that's something that I probably should never repeat again. Every time I do, people be like, don't do that. Like my mother. Yeah, you call definitely me shouldn't. Uh, you should edit this out for sure. No, no, no. no, no I'm mean, joking. I mean, you could be real. Cause I, t- I'll tell you this. I, I get it. I, uh, I hate taking showers. I, I, I take baths. Are you a ba- See, I love baths. She a whole girl, y'all. Yeah, I'm, I, I really am. But, side. Yeah, but like sometimes I, like I won't even run the water. I just like to. I like to sit down because I feel like. I've been standing all day, you know what I'm saying? And then I rinse myself off. But I say that because I hate the process of having to get in the shower and put on a lotion and find your clothes. It feel like a lot when you're tired. Don't it? So sometimes I might miss like a half a day or a day. That's what I'm trying but to say. But if I smell myself. But you say, check this out. On days that you ain't going nowhere. Like if I ain't going nowhere, why I got to take a shower just to be in the house all day? Like when we was in COVID, I probably took about three showers a week. Damn. If we wasn't doing shit, <laughs> I probably took well, about you know, because I'm thinking about stuff that I do all day. You know, I started taking vitamins, so that that changes your flow 
of how to do stuff. And then I ain't got no man either. So, you know, I'm yeah, not but, out but here John doing it. The no only man. thing I'll say is, you know how hard it is to get funk off after it builds? But it's not. So make it, it sure. don't get a chance to build. I'm just saying, make sure you put Look, on this deodorant. This why I'm super single. Look, fuck. first I was just single. Now I'm be super single. Niggas like, oh, You man. had somebody come up to you and uh, go, no. And <laughs> But this is the thing, though. This is the thing people don't know about me. And this is probably the first time I've ever seen some stuff like this, y'all. I had a whole underarm disorder. Damn. Like, my underarms, y'all. My Who underarms. has an underarm? Exactly me. Well, was it like, it's like the pudgy? No, no, no. It's not the fat or nothing like that. This has been since I was a kid. Like, my mom took me to the doctor Does to get a freaking prescription deodorant at first, right? She didn't know what it was. That's I got it. my underarms be kicking, y'all. Oh, they, That's they when like I be fly. knowing it's time for me to like, like I only go about a day, serious up. When I say three, three out of four days, I mean they every other day. You know, what I'm saying? I wasn't they, sitting they around there like no, a no, week. No, 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 I got you. But my underarms let me now. know when it's, you know, I can smell. When you can smell yourself, it's yeah. definitely time. Cause that means somebody else has been smelled. Right, right, right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. So my underarms let me know. But how you have a disorder? It's an underarm disorder, nigga. My underarms stink. Like I need to go like on more. What? <laughs> like I need to no. go. I What's, what the deodorant only deodorant do work? The only deodorant that works for me is Arm and Hammer. <laughs> I swear to that God, that just sound like Your a, f- uh, huh? No, I'm not sorry. I, mean, <laughs> I laugh because it's such a hard name for something it's that's thick. Arm, like you it's need to... Arm and Hammer deodorant. That's the only deodorant that works for me, yo. That's what, man, that's what I use. No, no, I used to, my parents used to make me use, I'm freaking six, Mitchum. Men's Mitchum, and it would burn, but they would be like, put that Mitchum on. Because my aunt used to smell so damn bad, we, we but, would know what. Can I ask you a question that's not to be funny? But were you always a big girl? No, oh, no, no, okay. no, 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 so no, no, no. that's different. I wasn't always big at all, and I'm not big now. I'm just no, 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 out no, of I, proportion. I'm saying like, yeah. It's like, no. Nah. I mean, like, <laughs> I ain't say huge. I ain't say <laughs> super size. I'm saying right. before they had super size, was you always a large? <laughs> no, <laughs> I was. I was always. I was always thick. Yeah. Like I was the thick girl in high school. Yeah. I was the. You know. I was the dude that everywhere I went, dudes was like, "Hey, big guy. Hey, yeah. hey." I was like thick you, before yeah. there was Instagram you models. Had, there was me. Been, right, right. <laughs> I had the titties and the butt, right, with, with right. a flat stomach, and you know I was, I was, I was all right, and I could get back there. I'm only, I'm only a hundred pounds away from that, and I know y'all think a hundred pounds is a lot. I don't lot, think so you, no. you know, I only speak on it because you, you know, you said something, but I, you know, uh, when I was a little thicker, I had that. That's what I had, like my oh, under arms would stink when you was bigger. Yeah, well, you know, I just sweat more, but I also had to find a deodorant. Like I like Degree, and see, I could use Degree. But I'm a hammer hold me. You know, I'm a dirty yeah, girl, so no, hold it, me the two days. You, you know right. what I'm saying? I can't give you a little extra, <laughs> yeah, <an> extra <laughs> lift. Nah, man, I remember uh, this is something somebody, they don't know, but, like, I had surgery uh, on my right arm and because I had, like, fat. Like, you know, I was little, but I had this fat growing. You had underarm fat. Yeah, I mean, you had arm fat, like I got. No, no, no. I'm talking about, like, my armpit was, like, almost the size of this, and it was, like, soft. So I went to the hot, you know, the doctor, and they they checked it. They said we can, you know, go in and see what it is. They said we could pull it out if you want to. So they they took it out, and basically they were like, you basically had the third titty. And I was like, well, why you didn't tell me that before? Like I could have, could have had three titties. <laughs> I could have had three titties. That would have been dope for whoever you gonna marry. You know what I'm saying? I'm gay. You know, but clearly they would love an extra titty. Man, shoot. who the I'd fuck been the has third a third titty comedian? See, this is the stuff right here that don't nobody know about Shantae. Nobody knows. You've never told nobody you had three titties. No, nah, I had three titties, and Ooh. then I've been trying to grow a hair because I think it was like the start <laughs> of me gaining weight. Like, and it came to my underarm bitch. I just want to tell every single person I'm that's listening right now. <laughs> Shantae had three titties. I had three I, titties. I, I, well, shoot. How, how messed up is that to waste three titties, fellas? <laughs> how messed up? I, I get why y'all mad at some lesbians. Three titties? I'll be mad at me, too. First of all, if Shantae wasn't gay, she would have been too hard for y'all niggas anyway. Y'all probably would have been like, <laughs> <hey, y'all> <laughs> Nah, son. If I, Shantae came out the closet and was like, hey, y'all, I'm not gay. Niggas would have been like, why? <laughs> why not? The way you bounce a ball, like. like you crazy, yeah. You know, it's funny. Uh, well, maybe because it was just the 90s and chicks look like this. But I used to date dudes like this. I, I have like a skirt on on my jeans would be tighter. And I sit up differently. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll be, I'll be like this with my legs curled. <laughs> 
Like, hey, babe. <laughs> and them niggas used to be like, man, my girl, she's just like my brother, you know? Yo, I love her. I love her. <laughs> nah, yo, the funniest, I used to, this is when I first started, like, going gay, but I used to take, like, my man's boxes. I'd be like, let me keep those. And I used to wear them. He'd be like, oh, you wear my box? I'm like, nah, I'm transforming, son. I'm transforming. <laughs> I'm becoming a whole stud on your ass. You're like, man, you just want to see which ones fit. The funny thing is, I got a friend. I don't know if she's watching right now, but gay dudes, it's dudes out there that's gay that don't want nobody to know they're gay. Yeah. And they are mostly attracted to big girls. I don't know what it is about these undercover. You know who you are. We, yeah. Me and my girls, we call them blue tips. <laughs> <laughs> we, that's our like secret code word right, for, right, for right. undercover dudes. But <laughs> the blue tips blue always want to holler at the big girls. And it's, I don't know what it is. And I can spot them. I, I don't say nothing. I just let met, them go you ahead. You some, uh, some comedians? That, some comedians, that, man. It, it's easy to pick. Who? It's easy to pick. <laughs> Come on, it's let's be real. It's easier to say which comedian is, is straight. Talk. It's easier to it's easier to say, you know what? <laughs> it's so many blue tips. But, you know, I let people live their life. Do hey, you? Yo, John Cena, yo. Let's, let's, let's. It don't matter. You know me. I'm, I'm. <laughs> I don't have sex. I don't even be into relationships and shit. I don't even look. One day Just my mama it. said, one day my mama said, Are you gay? <laughs> Cause I ain't had sex in 13 years. So she like, I, I mean, are Damn. you gay? Yeah. Do you masturbate? <laughs> Shantae. I mean, I'm I'm What serious. the fuck did you ask me that for my mother watching? My, you, you just said picture play? her daughter masturbating? Oh now? my God. Sorry, mom. I <laughs> Do you are you not? Why is this the second time you try to bamboozle me? Because <laughs> you keep bringing up stuff, and then when I ask a question, this I'm is the big. one asking questions. My, all of a sudden, like Mama that. watching now. She she went to the bathroom when you was well, talking. Look what you look what you asked though. I didn't Sorry, say Shantae. Say, do you be jerking your girl dick? I ain't say that. Why would my girl have the dick? Oh, I, I got that. I don't know. That's, See, mom, could you? I'm sorry. Let me let's stop. Go okay, ahead. let me answer that because I know a lot of people probably will want to know. There are times where. Um, I probably have to release myself. It's not often, like not every day, like you y'all probably do. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how what? it works. You are... I'm not talking about you specifically. I'm just talking about people, period. Oh, I don't yeah. know. But like around when my period about to come, I may have to, just because my hormones yeah. are a little high. Yeah, I mess with that thing. <laughs> Answer your question. <laughs> Shit. I don't know what you want to do. make it now, all. Now you all know, my viewers is picturing me. You said the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> the Lord be watching my dad. I'll be like, Dad, I'm sorry, but ah, I don't got no man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dad, don't look. All the ancestors don't oh, look. Oh, man. Please you just look. made him. Uh, one of his wings just went out oh, right now. Oh, my God. My father like, Jesus. He probably be like, hey, Jesus, don't look right now. <laughs> don't look at my door hey, right hey, now. Hey, Jesus, let me show you this other uh, human on earth. <laughs> Hey, Jesus, I got some other people we can get in the family. People, right. <laughs> Lord. Sorry, Mom. No, we about to segue. We about to have a little segue. I know, I know. We was having so much fun, too. And I'm, I let it have fun and then, you know, segue, don't we, guys? Shout out to everybody in the chat right now real quick. We're going to do a quick chat. Pause right fast. I don't know if y'all still here or not, but Mr. Hall, Anthony, hey. Tanika. Tanika. What's up? What's this moon, earth, and soul? Moon, oh my God, y'all got me dying. Soul. Bella Tresses, that's my little niece, Vernice. Bella Bell. <laughs> Sam Arlington. What's this, Shaquana B Butler? Butler, not, not Shaquana Butler. Sha D. Shaquan Butler is in the house. What up? <laughs> she in here too. Shawnee's Wells. What's Shawnee's. up, Shawnee's? You Shawnee's. know Shawnee's. She's a comedian. Yeah, I know. In her. Um, Vegas. That's you what be... I was about to say. Las <laughs> Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> She, she lied. Kia Wilson. <laughs> if you don't know her, you know her now. No, I don't you know that's her now. What up, love? But thank you, y'all, for watching and commenting. Anthony, I see you. Anthony is so funny. He goes, so, so, what's up, Biggie? <laughs> it's so irritating. Hey, but thank you, y'all, for, you know, watching and supporting and chatting with us. But, um, so I want to do a little segue. Uh, we had a, as, as comedians. Yeah. As and I want as I want to say as comedians, but I want to specifically say as L.A. Los Angeles comedians, mm -hmm. we had a hard summer. Yes. Should I say we had a we had some we we just had a hard a hard hit. Yeah. Lately, or should I say, two thousand twenty one, starting in the summertime. I remember um, getting COVID. It was in July, not knowing that I had it. Went home to my granddaughter's first birthday, gave it to seven people. Didn't, had no idea. Dang. 
sick as a dog. And when you first get it, especially if you're overweight because the rumors and all that, you don't know if you're going to live or die. Yeah. You don't know what it is. You don't know nothing. I just know I'm sick. But I wasn't sick, and then all of a sudden I was sick, super right. sick, where I couldn't move, and I was in D.C. I got 67-year-old roommate, don't want to bring it home to her, you know. Right. So I stay in D.C. 21 days. I'm like, I'm going to make sure I stay here, make sure I get rid of this COVID. Da, 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 da. During the, um, while I was there, my 21 days, I get this phone call. It's Kenesha screaming at the top of her lungs. Wow. I couldn't even hear. I couldn't even understand. And she had COVID too. And she barely could breathe. And she just was like, it's Tony. It's Tony. It's Tony. And I'm like, what? What? Tony's son. Tony. And, I, and I'm like, Kanisha, call me back. Because I couldn't understand nothing she was saying. Yeah. I'm like, call me back or text me or something. Because yeah. I don't know what's going on. She texts me and she says, um, she sends me this article. And it says that Tony's son um, passed away tragically in a car accident. Yeah. And... It was so devastating because what people don't know, especially with me, I've been doing comedy. Um, this will be year 14. My first four years was in D.C. My last 10, I've been here with y'all longer than I was with my family back home. Right. So we, what people may not know, behind the scenes and all that stuff like that, especially in the beginning, right. it was all of us. Right. We were all there supporting each other in the beginning. Right. We, if, if It didn't matter who had a show. We were all there at the shows. Remember that? Mm -hmm. When I first came here, yeah. it was like a, a beyond family. And guys, Shantae's sitting here because she's family, not because I'm some dope and I got the superstar. Seriously, we have mm -hmm. built a family out here. And Tony Baker... It's a comics comic. Yeah. Yeah. He's what we would consider a comics comic. Like one of, one of the comics favorite comics yeah. too. Not yeah. just y'all's favorite comic, but he's just all around a good person. And he opened up his life, his family to all of us. We grew up with his kids. Yeah. I mean, you know, his sons was around and, you know, everybody was just family. So that hit and it hit so hard because it was out of nowhere. And it hit like one of the best people. Yeah. Like, yeah. we would not have picked, if we had to pick somebody to get hit, it wouldn't have yeah, been him. Yeah, it, it wouldn't have been him. You know, T Tony is just such a likable dude. You know, you don't expect certain things to happen to certain people, even though this is life. You know what I mean? And I think that, you know, the way it happened and so forth and so on, and, and to have to, you know, feel him have to live through that. You know what I mean? Because... Comedy is, is one of the most amazing things. It gets us through a lot. You know, I'm so happy that, you know, he took a little time and I, he's going to always mourn for it, but he's using that on stage and, you know, it's, it's making him a different beast. Yeah. Um, I, I, it's crazy because, <clears throat> so I found, I proposed to my uh, girlfriend on August 4th, mm. which I think was the day that it happened. Yeah. And so... Because uh, I know we're gonna go into this too, but uh, my my good friend, uh, my brother, damn near Nick uh, Anthony Nicholas Carthen, uh, was there at my proposal. Uh, he passed away uh, August thirteenth, so it was this ripple of uh, Tony Baker happening after I celebrated. You know something. My my fiance was happy. You know, I'm posting a little bit, and I'm about to go on this, like, rampage yeah. of posting this, like, dope-ass night. And then t Tony's son, we hear about Tony's son, and I'm like, I, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it was like a, I can't even celebrate, really, yeah. because this happened. Um, and then let's slow down for one yeah, second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then Nick, yeah. called Anthony, <clears throat> We call some of us call him Nick, some of us call him Anthony, and I believe that you can tell who's closer by what they call him. Yeah. The people that's really, really closest to him, I think, called him Anthony. Um, but Nick had just posted a post with Tony's son, mm -hmm. and then uh, probably about two weeks was it about two weeks to the day, maybe? Pretty much. It was August. I'm not sure if he. It was August third or August fourth. But, yeah, Nick passed August 13th. Right. And I... I just remember... With me, 
I don't know, and I I, I want to hear you too. But with me, um, that as I want to say, Nick passed on a Friday. Was it a Friday? Uh, it might be. I'm not sure. But he reached out to me on that Tuesday, mm-hmm. and said, um, "Hey, I want to. I, I can read it. I don't know. I want to talk to you or something like that, right?" And I remember saying, "Call me." And he was like, "Cool. I'm gonna call you when I get off work." Mm-hmm. And I sent him my number because I'm like, I know Nick got my number, but I don't know why he inboxed me on Facebook. But I'm like, call me. But right. I sent my number like just in case or whatever. Because um, me and Nick, I don't know how he did this. Because that, it seems like after he passed, everybody had this Nick story. But me and Nick, were everybody was just close with him. Mm-hmm. Somehow or another, everybody had their close Nick it's like he made time for every single person somehow mm-hmm. me and me and Nick we were close we talked all the time we were like whatever you and I'm I'm that friend I'm mm-hmm. the whatever you need friend especially when it comes to kids mm-hmm. if you got a kid I I understand all right so whatever you need so I used to watch Chrissy for them all the time and all these things and stuff like that but he had reached out to me and he never called me and I didn't mm-hmm. think nothing of it. Uh, he must ain't want nothing. He ain't called whatever, right. you know, we just keep moving with life right. because every day here in Los Angeles is Friday. So we got things to do. So right. it, it's nothing like, you know, but that's my boy. And once again, I'm, I'm on the phone with Ganesha and we get a call. She literally puts, um, dang, I'm tripping. She put somebody in on the call, on a three-way call, and they, mm-hmm. they tell us, it was Naeem, mm-hmm. that's right, it was Naeem, that Nick passed away. And I was like, yo, you cannot be, mm-hmm. like, this cannot be real. Now, now this is getting a little bit out of control. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, with you, you popped in my mind because you and Nick were, like, that to me, dude. y'all look as inseparable. Yeah. Videos. You. That was my dude. He was he was super talented. Super, you know, Nick. The the craziest thing is that Nick threw, went through a rough patch for a few years, and a lot of people turned against him. A lot of people stepped away from him for reasons that they weren't sure of, but they they took a side, and and he kept his mouth shut. While, you know, people talked down on him. Um, I only say that because I, I think it it shows his character mm-hmm. of no matter what he was going through, what people were saying about him, he would still reach out to those people. Mm-hmm. You know, he would still check up on people, still make sure uh, everybody was good, you know. And he was he was heartbroken when, when you know, Serene died. And, <clears throat> you know, to... to I don't know, man. Like, we talked every day. He used to go to work at night, and then uh, he'd go work out after his shift. So I could talk to Nick from 6 to, like, 8 uh, in the morning. He'll talk to me while you're working out. You just, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then, uh, and then you know, he would go do this job um, at night, and I'll talk to him anytime from, like, 9, 10, until whenever we got off the phone. So it was crazy because I talked to him the night before. And then, you know, I, I was calling him in the morning. He wasn't answering. Um, I was just like, all right, maybe he went home went to bed or, you know, he's with his wife. And then uh, I got a call from his wife, and, and she told me. And it, it was like a breakdown. Like, it, it, it didn't make sense. Mm-mm. It didn't. It just really didn't make sense. Um, so, yeah. And I think by this time, I had come home. Yeah. And had had because Kanisha got so sick she couldn't even be around her own child. So I remember having Kanisha's baby. We get this phone call. First person I thought about, of course, was Carmen. Mm-hmm. Then I thought about the baby. And then I thought about you. Because I was like, oh my God. Like, Shantae, I called you. I remember I immediately called when yeah, I thought no. about it. I remember calling. I know. I know. I wasn't answering. I know people. Yeah. I I called just to say, you know, because we we were all hurt. We were all it, we were hit. Yeah. And you're right. Everybody had to take a side because Nick was married to. Um, I don't get it. Nick was married to Takara, and they got a divorce, and we all had to take a side. Yeah. <laughs> and that's just what we all did. Yeah. I took Nick's side. I didn't. 
I just and it wasn't. So. It shouldn't really have been like a, you know, a, on a certain level that was yeah. taken aside. And I don't think it had to really be that. But I just think, I think that's what it became. It didn't. You know what I'm it didn't have to be that. But what yeah. it is, what it was, was they were so divided. Yeah. You yeah. couldn't really be in the middle. Yeah. Especially if you were like me. I was. Before Carmen even met Nick, me and Carmen were cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was always a Carmen fan. So together, they were so, it was so, it was just so divided. You couldn't, you had to kind of pick a side. Even if you didn't, you had to kind of. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it wasn't a thing where you, you just disrespected one or the other. It yeah. just was like, you, just, you know. You would pick a side. You, you just had to because they were just so divided. Yeah. And then his life just began to be so happy with Carmen. It made, it made you happy just yeah. seeing them both so happy, you know? Yeah, Nick, Nick was, you know, he started, he started to do his thing. He started to build with his... Uh, you know, comedy and stuff. And he was just always rooting, always trying to come up with new ideas, always trying to, you know, work with people and, and, and really just get into this hole. And and it's crazy because as he started to reach that level and really step into his thing, you know, this was taken away. Um, but he was, I, I, it hurt me even more because you got to understand, like, I was fully uh, naked with with Nick. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like any nobody, it's it's hard for me to establish a friendship mm -hmm. like that if you weren't already my friend. Mm -hmm. You know, at a certain point in my life. So when when he passed, anything I'm going through, I feel like I can't call everything it, passed. Every with it. everything passed with it. I I can't any secrets, any you know venting, any you know now. You know, shout out to CT. Um, you know, that's that's my boy, and you know, he's been there. And we've been bonding, um, so it's it's been that relief, but it's it feels scary still because mm -hmm. now I feel like I don't want to lose anybody else on top of who we lost after Man, him. So listen, it's like, listen, so let's yeah. just keep it going. So I want to say I don't even know how much longer it wasn't that much longer. I'll Maybe another you. two weeks. <laughs> yeah, S food dies. Yeah. Fuquan Johnson. That's, Fuquan. Now, yeah. Fuquan, now mind you, Shantae got two male best friends that everybody already knows. Yeah. <laughs> everybody already knows that Shantae got two male best yeah. friends. Nick and Fu. Yeah. And it was like, I get a phone call from Lulu because Lulu is also very close to Nick and Fu. Yeah. It was both of y'all two and y'all own separate entities that was close to these two dudes. Yeah. So I get a phone call from Lulu. And she, she can't breathe once again. She's crying. I'm like, Lulu, chill. Yo, they're saying that food died. They're saying, I'm like, Shantae, calm down. Yeah. I mean, not Shantae, Lulu, yeah. calm down. It's real early in the morning. Lulu, food's not dead. Like, I don't, yeah. like my mental didn't even, couldn't even grasp that one. Yeah. I text food and was dead serious. Yeah. Like, yo, call me back. Because me and food, we text all the time, but we text on some joke stuff. Yeah. Like, and we was moving. Me and Fu was we yeah. was moving that dad going E D D stuff. <laughs> I was sending recommendations for everybody. If you didn't have E D D, man, all you had to do was call me right. and I could call Fu and he could help you get your E D D. So we was moving the E D D stuff. Like so we was we had gotten real close during the pandemic, right? Because right? right. you know I'm a hustler and I'm the plug. If you need anything, I'm I'm her. But nobody knows just it's just in my nature. Yeah, yeah. Me and Fu Oh my God. I text my mans and I'm like, yo, they saying you did. It's crazy. Call me back. Mm -hmm. I know, you know, I know you're not. Everybody just trying to reach you, but hit me. Like, I know you probably just don't feel like talking to them, yeah. but you talk to me. Yeah. Like, hit me. And as the as the time going, because one thing about Fu, he texts you back immediately. Yeah. He wasn't the ones that just like, oh, I'm busy. I'm doing yeah. He'll just be like, what's up? I'm busy. Or, yeah. you know, and he didn't text me back. Yeah. I say about maybe like 20, 30 minutes later, because Fu had said, I mean, um, um, Lulu had said somebody told her I called that person. And he answered. Because I want y'all to know that the comics answer for me because I don't call them often. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. so they be like, what's up? Yeah. You good? I say, yo, why is everybody saying Fu? And he just got really, really quiet. And I was like, turns, no. Yeah. Turns, no turns. Like we can't. He was like, "Don't yeah. see it, man." Yeah. I said, "We can't do this anymore. We cannot. This cannot be real." And once again, I thought about you, like, "Dag." Let me tell you what's so crazy about it. 
Uh, I <laughs> so Nick passes away. Fly out to New York. Uh, we go on to Nick's funeral. Mm-hmm. Then I go stay at my fiance's mom house. Uh, the next day is the repass. I'm getting ready to go to this repass. My cousin calls me and tells me food pass. And so I'm sitting there with a death that I'm trying to put to rest while another one is, is happening. And I think food even hit harder for so many reasons. Like Nick and him had like an unresolved uh, uh, dis, uh, a disagreement. And it wasn't like huge, but it's just one of those things where it's like you don't let time pass and not talk to somebody and stuff like that. So when when Nick passed and Fu showed up to the funeral, Fu was hurt because he didn't have that chance to say, you know, like, let's make peace. And then to have him pass, I had to call my brother, who that's really who Fu's best friend is. Like, yeah. my brother and Fu are just, it, it, it has... I can't even explain it, but since we were kids, and Fu is, Fu is my brother, but yes, Fu became my best friend in the sense of, yeah. you know, we hung out more in this comedy life. Um, but that was hard because now I almost felt like I had to buff up for my brother. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Because I just went through this, then I had to help with the funeral or, you know, we did the GoFundMe and all this stuff. And so that was just like, I don't know. It was, it was, it was. It, it hurt for so many reasons. I will say, um, you know, with Cassette being here and stuff like that and, you know, Takara and, you know, every it, it helped make everybody kind of come together in a different way. Yeah. Having to, to let go of stuff. I've talked to people now that I haven't talked to in a minute just on some, hey, checking on you, love you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it did bring people together. It did you know, force a village around his daughter um, in, in some way. And I think, I, I guess I'm grateful for that. I talked to his parents. I talked to his sister. Yeah, his parents are so cool, yeah, man. Yeah, they, they're... Spend some time with them. just like him. I'd be like, I miss Nick. I'm man, calling him. Nick, look, <laughs> he's the exact replica of his dad. Yeah. His dad was so funny. And um, <sighs> it's, just, it's just one thing about it. At Nick's funeral, food, <sighs> he just... I don't know how this death thing works. Like, I don't know. But Fu just gave everybody hugs. Mm-hmm. I just remember it like it was yesterday. Because we were taking pictures. We were laughing. We were joking. But he told everybody, I love you that day. Mm-hmm. I remember just going around giving everybody hugs. Yeah. And just the look on his face was so, you could just see the hurt. Yeah. And whatever he was going through, you could just see the hurt in Nick's death on him. Yeah. And I was like... I don't know how it works. I don't, but I did. I didn't know that day that he was next. Yeah, I didn't like that day. I just didn't know he was next. I would have never known because I, you know, you think like if I would have known he was next, we would have did more. Or we would have yeah. went out there. Or yeah. I don't know. You can't. That's and I guess that's why God makes it like that. But um, and you should just yeah embrace what you have here, and and that's why I said like that's. That's what it kind of did. You know, there's so many things I could say about... I, I miss the hell out of them. Um, yeah. I will say I believe in death differently. I, even if it's right or wrong, it, it brings peace to me. I don't think they went anywhere too far. Yeah. Um, and I don't think that they won't be back So if they're not already. So I do believe in mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. their spirit at least still existing or them being in a different you know, dimension or something like that. But... It, we miss, you know what I'm saying? I miss being able to call Nick at any time. Yeah. I miss being able to hit Fu up. And, you know, so I just crazy. I just miss that. But um, one thing that all these deaths taught me, um, because I lost even more people than, than those two. Yeah. During um, 2021. It was just like, I don't know. Yeah. But um, one thing it taught me was to let go of anything that God did not send. It, like whatever is holding you back from mm-hmm. or hating you, if God didn't send it, let it go. And yeah. I say that to my friends all the time now. I'm like, yeah, it's not that big. Yeah. Let it go. Because we don't know from day to day who's going to be up, who's going to be down. People are depressed. People are killing themselves. Right. 
Like, let it go. Yeah. It's not that serious. And honestly, I'm going to be real honest with you when I tell you that it's times where God has told me to reach out to Takara. Because um, I don't know where we went wrong. I mean, I do know, but we went wrong. Yeah. And I, and it's probably been time for me to reach out to her. But my thing is, this is a this is a you thing. I say this all the time to people. You know, that's a you thing. This is a John Cena thing. I don't know how she would feel or anything like that. But I've been wanting to reach out to her just to let her know that I'm still the John Cena that I was when we were cool. Yeah. That if she needed anything, if she needed her baby's hair done, anything like that. But... <laughs> It's like I, I, I'm avoiding the rejection yeah. that doesn't even matter. Now that yeah. I'm sitting here talking, even if she does, that, that has nothing to do with yeah. me. That would be a her thing. Yeah. And then even sitting here talking to you saying, you know, it brought such and such closer and this and that, this and that. And it's like, I believe we each got, we each got something in this world to do, yeah. you know? And I know the person that God made me, and I know the reason why, I, some of the reasons why I'm here anyway. Right. It's it's very easy for me to shun off things because yeah. I just I just don't got time. I just don't. It, it's just not a part of what God created me to do, and I've I've seen that. And the right. more and more I grow, the more and more I notice that. So I'm just being transparent with you on saying that He has told me to reach out to her. You should. Well after. Like, right, well, in August, after the funeral and all that. I just, I don't know. You I should, will, Well, here's the deal. When something is heavy on your heart. I ain't you, say it was you, heavy. I just oh. said God. It's like, no. <laughs> I'm just well, playing. God I'm just playing. coming, that's the That's pretty all. heavy. Yeah, that's okay. heavy. Okay. Not okay. necessarily on your heart. But if you're thinking about it, it it should, you know, I, I like to express myself no matter the income, outcome. Because at least I said I got it out and I tried. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think that, you know, for what it is, um whoever is friends with whoever and some people have established a certain relationship to where you find more understanding and I always say that you never with an argument if I've been best friends with you since we were 12 and we get older I don't care what he did to you you're my best friend right. I understand your lane he could be like she threw a hole you know she tried she shot me she did this and I'd be like but why did she shoot you? Right. And then if I'm his friend for that long, I'm looking at you like a crazy, you know, chick. You know what I mean? Yeah. So so I say that to say, in, in that sense, we everybody has valid feelings and everybody could be a little, you know, d too far off. But uh, if you guys were once friends, uh, I think I think the bigger issue is that there's a village that needs to be surrounded the baby. By, by the baby. And I think that, for whatever it's worth, whatever he went through through those years, I, I don't think that if he, if he was here, he would want any of this to be down to where nobody's, like, helping look out for his daughter. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. if, if he rocked with you. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And and if she shut you down, she shut you down. But I, I had to take that step. I had to, you know, I apologize. I did a, a, a bunch of stuff, but I did that because it's like now moving forward, you know, we don't have to be best friends. Right. We're, we're peaceful. But if if there's no other issues that come to it, what am I what am I worried about? That's true. That's true. I definitely we I see y'all in the comments. Everybody like you should call, reach out. Yeah, don't it don't have to be heavy on your heart, and I pro I probably know why you hey, don't want to do it. But yeah, I mean, I, but yeah. it's you know. But once again, that's a me thing. And, what and, would Nick do? And every single <laughs> man, let me tell y'all something. Something about Nick, I always admire, man, because <laughs> Nick, Nick, Nick just never took nothing to the heart, like a lot of us did. Nah. And it was so, and everything he did, he got up, even if he was great at it or wasn't great at it, he got up and did it again, yeah. just like it was just great the last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love that about him. Yeah. I said, Nick, I don't care what nobody say. You funny to me. And what made him one of the greats as far as comedy to me was that he didn't take it. Like, mm -hmm. if, 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 one, if, if one of us bombed, we, we, we short mentally for, for right, weeks. Right. It's like, oh, that was terrible. <laughs> Nick go up bomb. Almost every time he didn't care, he'll go to the next spot and and do yeah. it again, and that's what made him great. He didn't take this so serious that it deterred him from from to from keep to keep trying, should I say? And well, he, he, he was felt, always he, yeah, he felt he felt it, he felt pain, but he he didn't he didn't let it uh, show, he didn't let it affect. Well, just put it this way: yeah. on the outside looking in, 
it didn't look like it was sweat. <laughs> I mean, no, no, no. I'm sure. I'm sure everybody feels it, but I'm just saying, outside looking in, he would bounce back up. People would talk yeah. about him. People would dog him and yeah. all. He ain't care though. Yeah. He still just Come bounced back, back up and went again. Tried it again. Right. I would be like, maybe you should say the joke this way. <laughs> and he'd be like, all right, all right, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Like I loved him. Like I did yeah. everything. Like I cheated for him one time. <laughs> when when he did he did a um a contest. <laughs> yeah. And, and he did a contest at um. For flappers. Yeah, flappers. Man, I, the lady got caught slipping with the with the things you vote on, yeah, yeah, yeah. and she sat him at the table. The table in front of me, right quick, right, and walked away. She was one of the waitresses. Man, I took all them drinks, about thirty of them. I said, Nick, Nick, ah! Nick, Nick. Uh, everybody was like, with the same uh, writing, nigga, same writing, all that. I told you, dog. I'm a thug. I'm, it's the plug. Everybody was looking you like, at least some of us to change up your. Writing. Not only did everybody look like, how did Nick win that joint? Nick looked like who me? Ah! I'm sitting back like I'm sitting back like God. Ah! You. <laughs> you taking pictures? That's Nick was so proud. I got, Girl, I got pictures. I got all those pictures. Nick was so proud. He was yeah. so. Well, he won that contest. Oh, I was like, "What you? Gosh. What you not gonna do That's is it. sit these voting things that beside me? Brilliant. Same pen all. Said, Who me? Nick? Nick? Because all we had to do was just write <laughs> a, a, a check. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, it was just a check. It was just you uh, know, stupid. all the person that you wanted and turned them in." That's hilarious. I turned in all them joints That's too. Hilarious. I turned in. <laughs> that joint was me? packed out. You. Nick was, Nick's <laughs> face was like this. They was like, Nick cut. He was like, <laughs> and, and I think he was up. He was up against some real <laughs> good people. <laughs> Like, People it. got like standing on <laughs> <He> killed it. <laughs> People walked out on his set. He was up against like Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor. <laughs> People walked out on his side. People was like, ordering food and talking. Right. I was like, that's okay, because Nick going to win this today. <laughs> and then afterwards, right, I went to him and was like, hey, Nick, I ain't even going to lie. He's like, yeah. you did that? Yo. I was like, I ain't even going to lie to you, Nick. Oh, I that's look. so funny. They, had to, they uh. had to don't even worry about it, though. <laughs> oh, that's so and funny. And that's like, that was like a story of me and his boy that we just. That's brilliant. He had took pictures with all his friends and stuff on stage. That was his moment, boy. Nick is brilliant. He, uh, I remember he was working at this warehouse, and he uh, <laughs> he hired me. He hired everybody that shouldn't have been hired. He hired me. He hired uh, he, the manager. he hired Franz, <laughs> and he hired he this is he hired somebody who just got out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> it was two dudes. They were they was actually super cool, but the fact that he hired two dudes from jail, and then he literally. Hired this homeless kid, <laughs> and he met the homeless kid because the guy was asking for change, and he gave him some his food, and he said, "Come, you can come to work, no, and I'll give you a check." This kid shows up asking for a check as soon as he walk in. He's like, "Am I getting paid today? Am I getting?" He's like, "Bro, <laughs> hold on." The two the two jail niggas used to hide in the because it was a warehouse, right? So you had like the <laughs> what's those things, the bins and stuff like that. So they used to hide. And, and like, the, if the couch was sitting on the thing, they would just be sleeping in the couch. And we had to move furniture and all types <laughs> of stuff. Franz would be in the bathroom, using the bathroom and on the phone. He'd be like, yo, I'm at work. <laughs> and you like Franz, we can hear you. The boss is here. All this stuff. But he had this whole collective group of people that you were just like, these are the people that they tell you not to hire. <laughs> And he hired us all. Yeah, and so I'm taking put herself in. It. He hired I, us all. Oh, I was, I was, I was horrible too. Once I realized that the dudes would do more work than me, like they would, I would lift something heavy, and they would be like, "Oh no, 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 beautiful, let me get that." I'm like, "Me, <laughs> pretty eye light skin girl, you pretty eye light skin <laughs> for eight hours carrying pillows across the world." <laughs> Pretty old me. Take, pretty light skin. Pretty eyes, Shante. <laughs> I'm tying my little hoodie up like this. Pretty old like, me. <laughs> so he hired Urban. That's so. He hired. We were horrible. So did y'all get fired eventually? No, we all quit at the right time. <laughs> like I quit. Uh, I, I, I smoked one day. <laughs> when was this? This was. 
before the pandemic, probably like it was before my Netflix special, so maybe like 2017, 2018. Y'all hear that though? Before my Netflix special, find yeah. Shantae's Netflix special. Oh, y'all. listen, I ain't it's afraid freaking to still hilarious. get on uh, Uber Eats and stuff. I'm still not afraid. <laughs> Let me tell you something. They don't. They don't know how it is out here, man. Nah. They just. They just think it's sweet. <laughs> They see me on TV and stop sending. Y'all got to stop not sending. Just because you see me on TV, stop not sending those monthly cash apps right. and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you should see me. I'll be out delivering like this. <laughs> and they... Looking like the dude off of, uh, hey, hey, hey. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fat out with you. <laughs> That's hilarious, man. Rest in peace, man. Rest to, in peace. To all our fallen soldiers 2021. Just know that we we appreciated you. We love you. We yeah. still feel you. And you know, we're gonna do our best to keep it keep yeah. it going. Keep hope, it going. Hope they find uh foods and Rico and uh I think her name was Natalia. Hope they find them drug dealers and whoever was involved. Cause you know <sighs> it's an investigation that need to go on and they I don't I don't think I think they could have been saved. So I think they they bodies was left there by some uh, non friends. Oh really? And and a little bit too long. So I hope that that investigation go down. I'm putting it out there because I just I sh- never knew none of that. I just didn't, yeah. I didn't even. I, I think there's some faulty stuff that went down. Um, you know, I I don't like how the headlines kind of brought it out to where it was like he was the one. Like it was you know food. that guy. I mean, he looked like one, but. Who was also, you know, he wasn't stupid like that. So, yeah. No, no, no. No. That's like why it, it really shocked me. And what people don't know about Fu, y'all, Fu loved everybody. He was yeah. loved by everybody. And he was loved by so many people. I think we had like four funerals for Fu out this joint. Yeah. Like four get togethers yeah. where people, and I was just sitting like at every one of them. I, I just kind of stand in the back. I like to observe a lot. Yeah. And you know what Fu was? Fu kind of, Fu was that dude. The underdog lover. You could just yeah. tell. Yeah. Because all of the coolest of the uncoolest to the coolest to the, no matter who it was, was all there crying mm-hmm. real hard mm-hmm. tears, saying how much he really, he loved them. Yeah. Fu just gave out pure, genuine love. Yeah. And, and, and Fu had some weird chicks uh, <laughs> DMing all. <laughs> Fu had, he was like, you was, you was messing with this chick? <laughs> Oh, because y'all had his phone and stuff. We had, they, they was DMing us, like, trying to figure out where the funeral was. And we're, I was like, I don't even know. <laughs> you allowed to kill Where did he meet you? <laughs> He's like, hey, I've been dating food for about five years. Like, yeah. when? <laughs> and the thing is, I was reading, actually, what people were putting under foods. Yeah, picture. like, I love you, I boo. love you and thank you so much. Fool and I'm sitting up here like, here. food was messing with you? When? Oh, uh-huh, right. <laughs> How? How? Oh, he don't know me, but he talks so much about you. I was like, ma'am, I don't know who else. I don't know who the real girlfriend that's going to show up. So I ain't inviting nobody. <laughs> Fish bone. <laughs> 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 I, I didn't me. even know what his film was. Was this film here or in New York? Nah, New York. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. He looking okay. really handsome. Did he? Yeah. Because my man used to be big. He had his dirty moments, too. That's why I really loved him. Yeah. Oh, no. Fu was the I used dirt to call Fu dirty. Like, yeah. I used to be. He used to say, with your fat ass. Yeah. I'd be like, nigga, take a bath. And I'm sitting there dirtier than him. He don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fu don't. Fu didn't give it. Fu always smelled, like, good, though. He was sprayed. He washed at the right time. That's that's me. Yeah. People be like, you smell good. And I, <laughs> I got a nerve to like designer perfume, too. I mean, I got a slew of designer <laughs> Chanel. Like, I got every yeah. designer perfume. And let me tell you something. The days I don't feel like washing, I will designer <laughs> perfume my ass. And y'all be like, you smell that's so a, good. Yeah. Mm, mm. I'm thinking, boy, that's why I ain't not fucking. Because if you go any further than this neck, <laughs> no, I'm playing. You need <laughs> one stop. of those. Uh, they need to make one of them human uh, shampoos, like the dogs. <laughs> they got the dry shampoo. You can just spray on them. No, nah, they need to make the joint where we can, uh, like a car wash. Right? Yeah. I can run it through and somebody wash me. Then I really take baths. We're like, yeah, that's all I need right here. Somebody just to shampoo my hands, shit, hold my boobs up and scrub. Go, go. Like Somebody hit you with the... <laughs> yeah. Somebody need to... Get none of them titties. Somebody need to come and invent something like that. Like a, a human car wash, man. That's I'm here for funny. that. Like, a human I'd wash. The, I'd be the cleanest. I'll pay loot for it, too. It's $20 yeah. every bag. $20. It's like you want your toes uh, included? <laughs> In you between. want your feet? No. Yeah. Now, mind you, I keep my feet. But I got a it nerve. Was. 
to stay with the pedicures. <laughs> I got a nerve. You say people only want to suck your toes? Oh my, the shit you can see. You know what I'm saying? Shit you can see my feet. So I got a nerve to keep my feet pretty. Dudes be like, you got the prettiest feet. <laughs> from when I did hair dog because I had to stand so much so I kept I took good care of my feet and I just kind of keep that Wait, in rhythm what yeah yeah I thought you I thought you get on your knees what the, how tall are the dudes you giving head to head I said oh hair. where is my head Shantae you, you I, see, swear, I know you engaged and y'all all into I each other I don't know why I thought you I need to speak more hair. clear no I got a little list you I said, said doing hair <laughs> A little list. I spell your hair. words out. H A H A. I don't know how to spell. I R. No, no, like, like spell your shit out. Sorry. No, but doing, yeah, doing hair. I had to stand for like eight it's hours. It's like what? <laughs> she said, giving head. I thought you'd get on your knees. Not me. I stand. I'm a lazy head giver. I was just like, that's the most awkward. <laughs> like, how tall are these dudes? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the dudes, aggressive. You know what you want, son? His son. He's stupid. He's <laughs> I'm just the, the look of it. There's nothing sexy about that. Me standing, giving somebody head. And the dude to do it too. I'm like, I can give you head, but only if I stand up. He'll figure it out. He'll stand on the table. Niggas do not care. they so dirty. Like, All right. All right, ain't no problem. I stand on my car. You want me to stand on my car? <laughs> I stand on my car. You got a shoebox? You got a. <laughs> No, you got to be a little bit taller. They can show up in some uh, Doc, Mar Doc Martens because <laughs> they got that little sole that's this big. <laughs> Get some of them little Asian shoes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the Asians be fighting them shoes. With they be the like, blocks. yes, they be like 20 feet tall. Like, yeah. how tall are you for real? Three feet. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. You stupid. Oh. All right. Now that we back, we back vibing, y'all. We back on our, 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 our high. So question, though. What's, tell me one of the greatest moments of your life. Wow. One of the greatest moments, probably my Netflix special. Really? Your yeah. Netflix special was funny, too, Jonathan. Thank you. Thank you. I, I just want you to know that. It really was funny. Thank you. That that was probably one of the, the yeah. And I and I say that because, for, shout out to Tiffany Haddish, but we were able to do us. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and usually, like, they make you change stuff. They want you to, like, we had, it was a perfect time to just be able to come out and do you. And I am not, I, I swear I'm not that person, but I'm about to be that person today. I think you were the funniest one. Oh, thank you. I re, and I'm sure you heard that, because I know I'm not the only person that said well, that. Well, no, but listen, the, but again, the beauty is that every everybody was there for somebody. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, I'll say that's probably the highlight for me, because when you think that you might, I don't, I, not to say I didn't believe in myself, like you wouldn't make it, but it was it was a hard road for me to take. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Being this stud, being this. And I, I thought it would either take me longer or, you know, it's a chance that it, it might not happen in that light. And the, so it was everything. You know what I mean? Everything that I worked for, the way I worked for it, it hit. It. I mean, it was, you were funny, Shantae. Mm -hmm. you, you brought it. I will say that you brought it, and she did a, I think she did a second one. Yeah, she did. Yeah, season two, but yeah. they did that during the the Coco. Yeah, and I I, I still think you were the best. And <laughs> thank you. I ain't gonna. I mean, and it's not just because I think you were you one of my homies. I I really think you were very you 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 murphy that. Thank you. You really did, and you got something else coming go up, right? Go watch it. Go watch it. Huh? Yeah, go watch it though, y'all. <laughs> season go one, watch. episode six. Um, I do. We just shot uh, HBO Max. Uh, it's called The Headliners, uh, hosted by Marlon Wayans. Uh, we got Tony Baker, DC Irvin, uh, Sydney Castillo, and uh, Esau McGraw, and myself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> got was, to hang in with she the, was the only. She was the only girl, but it's not really fair um, <laughs> to say that. So there were no women on this show, which I hate shows with no women. I know. So I know. I know. But, no, uh, but, but I will say truth to, in, in Marlon's defense, these everybody on in the camp kind of opened for him. Oh, yeah, I no, say no, no. except Tony. Even Esau? Yeah, Esau's, Esau didn't, like, open for him for a while, but he's been kind of in that camp. Yeah, because I noticed that um, it looked like, you know, because L.A.'s kind of clickish. Yeah. <laughs> I don't try to know that. It is, baby. And I'm not a clickish person, so I don't be into clicks. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm not saying I'm a loner, but, you know, it seemed like that, that was just that little click. And it, it no was. hating on it, because yeah. it, 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 those are some funny comics out yeah. here. They yeah. really they really are. And um, I'm trying to get 
a show going where I introduce comics that people don't know that are, that are really funny. Mm-hmm. It's so many, because, you know, I grew up on the East Coast, of course, mm-hmm. so I did comedy all up and down, Atlanta, North Carolina, like all up and down, mm-hmm. New York, the whole East Coast. And it's some funny comics that some are no really, names. Yes. And I really, that if I get a Netflix special or something like that, that's what I would want to do. Yeah. And I don't want to do it as a star, you yeah. know what I'm saying, yeah. as this huge star. I really want to be somebody that not everybody knows. And bring out people that not everybody knows, just yeah. so you can you guys can see more talent. Because even on the West Coast, y'all don't know it's some super funny people. It's a lot on it's the East lot. Coast that are like, because out here, I ain't gonna say you ain't gotta be as funny, but out here people don't have the same. They have the same struggles, but not the same stress. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, it, that's deep. I'm serious. Yeah. It's not the the same stress. And being from the other side. The East Coast. Somebody. <laughs> and a lot of my East Coast friends are actually on this live right now that are here. Um, East Coast. It's not the same the same stress level. No. And I want to say it's because maybe the sun shines all year round. You wake up and no matter what, you're going to see the sun shining even when it rains. Yeah. It's going to only rain for like 10 minutes. Yeah. And the sun is shining. It's just something about, like, because you have the same struggles. Like I said... Like, and I'm going to say, my struggles was even worse out here. Yeah. I was homeless. Like, uh, Shantae got a little teeny story about the time I came over her house, did her hair one time. And, <laughs> and wouldn't leave. I wouldn't leave. I was like, uh, is she trying to uh, get with me? I, I never knew happening? that Shantae felt like this until, um, let's back up a little bit. <laughs> Shantae has this joke that is the funniest joke in the world. Okay? It was always my favorite joke because it was one of the most relatable things that I can relate to. And every one of the kids, when they seen it, was like, yo, auntie, that it was so <laughs> you. It was always my favorite joke. And I remember getting a call from casting, like, uh, yeah, we're about to send you over the script we wanted you to do. <laughs> and, I, and the good thing about being big in yeah. L.A., you get the big girl roles. Yeah, yeah. It's not a lot of people competing with you. Yeah, yeah. It really isn't. You yeah. got pressures. You got... They all working, yeah. <laughs> put it this yeah, way. Yeah. So I'm like the person in the comedy world where, oh, we got the big person that'll do it. Because mm-hmm. I'm not ashamed. I built this body myself. <laughs> I, can, I can fix this body anytime. <laughs> this is me. This is who I, I am. This body. So <laughs> when I seen it, I was so psyched yeah. slash excited. Sice is a DC word. Excited <laughs> that I got to do your joke. Yeah. Because that is my favorite <laughs> joke. So I'll take out a joke, right? I, I'm sure a lot of y'all have seen it on Laugh Tracks where I acted out Shantae's joke about her um, having a fat friend who clearly... And it's, and it's me. It's me all the way around. I don't let people be fat. I don't let you get fat. If you're getting fat, I'm yeah. like, get the fuck out of my lane. You don't even know what to do with this. <laughs> I went to the D.C. Irving. He was getting, he was getting chunky yeah. at one point in time, and I was like, yo... You're getting fat. Yeah. And DC, literally, the next time I seen him, I probably seen him again like six months later. He was like, I was like, dang. He, he was, was like, like John C. He said, everybody else out here yeah. uh, say something to me. And I just let it go. He said, well, when you say things like that, <laughs> I know you a realist. Yeah. I know you. Re-. He said he went straight to that gym. Yeah. And he started eating right and everything. He if, didn't realize he was getting fat. But it, it, it's, you know, listen, there's been plenty of times when I thought I was skinnier than what I was. And and my my fat goes to my, like, face, my neck, <laughs> uh, here, and in my stomach. So I everything else will take its time. But here and here, it just appears. And I remember uh, part of that joke when the chick told me <laughs> my mom was getting her hair done in North Hollywood. I went to go pick her up, and the hairdresser literally was standing outside with a wife beater, and it came up to here, so all this stomach was just out. <laughs> and she was eating chips, and she came to me, and she was like, damn, you look like you gained a weight. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> and I've never wanted to fat shame so hard in my life because I was just like, how dare you? And then also, like, how, do you, how could you tell? You know what I'm saying? Like, it, those are my evil thoughts. But that was the first thing. And then I had another friend who always talked about losing weight. But every day, we <laughs> she talked about losing weight. But we would always go, like, she would walk for four hours. And we would go to, like, 80 different food spots. 
So she would always talk about wanting to work out and do all this stuff. But every every time we saw a store, she, that was the word the wording she used. She was like, "Why you bring me here?" <laughs> You know, this is my sweet spot. And for that, that one spot we was at, I couldn't stop thinking everywhere we stopped, her going, why you really here? <laughs> so that was, that was the two smash us. But I was so hurt when she said that. It, it felt the same way. I'm going to go work out. And you started really, you started really losing that yeah, weight then, didn't I you? I did. Because it was, it was in, it was almost insulting. Like... like- <laughs> You fat bitch, how but it you? wasn't even like you wasn't fat and together. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't have your swag, you ain't have your hair done, you ain't have nothing. You just you was in here. You had uh, hairs on your wife beater and chips uh, crumbles here. <laughs> Looking at me like, damn! Like I came in to do your joke, and I was they said I had I had to change wig. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 you looking too good. Yeah, no, you yeah, no, look, no, no. You gotta look really sloppy. <laughs> yeah. and, fat. and I'm like, okay, like I don't know how that how that works because I've been doing this fat thing forever, and right. I'm not a sloppy fat girl. No, no, no. So I don't know how I don't know what that means. I mean, you so just they bought they literally bought a size medium. Yeah. Wife beater. Yeah. And I was like, y'all, I cannot get this on. They're like, that's the point. I'm like, no, I don't think you get it. It's only, it only fits. That's so the point. They laughing. They dying laughing. Like, nah, go put it on. Go put it on. <laughs> I put it on and the joint only fits the head. <laughs> so they had to go back. Now, this is how fat my fat ass is. They had to go back and get a large wife beater right. to just go down a teeny bit more because it literally only fit over my right, boobs. Right, but they right. were like, nah, we need you. We need you sloppy right. for this. It had to be sloppy. This, like I said, I, I always say all the time, it's some big girls that got they, with that confidence, and, and they fine, you know what I mean? But they hold it together. This one, nah. <laughs> you had to be all, all bad. It came out so good, Shantae. Yeah, it did. You're funny. That though. joke came out so good. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the funny thing is, I not to make a turn like I, I love to do, when I shot that, Shantae, my, my best friend at the time, mom had just passed away. Damn. That day. Damn. And they said that they gave her a week, okay? That that Friday they gave her a week. And they said to me, they said, um, she got about a week to live. So I told my best friend, well, I'm filming, but I'll just come home now. Like, forget it. Yeah. This was Friday. No, this was that Thursday. They... So they expected her to live at least to like the next Friday or something like that. Yeah. Whatever it was, it was like a week or so or something. So I went to I went to Jamal and everything, and Jamal was because I was like one of the main actors on the show, and yeah. he was just like, um, "We'll move everything." He said, "Please, we need you to shoot your stuff. We'll, we'll we're going to rearrange everything. You could just shoot this week. We'll pay for you to go home right. on Friday." Da 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 da. Because I think she was supposed to live to the weekend or something mm-hmm. whatever happened i shot your thing because we had to squeeze because we had to squeeze everything in on a tuesday i remember i shot it all and she called she texted me while i was on set and said mom just went into car into a, a rest that's what she said i was like girl what's a rest like right. she was like cardiac arrest and then i was like oh okay because i didn't even know what that was and we were shooting and everything like that and then she texted mm-hmm. me and she was like, and we were not supposed to have phones on set. I remember that, and now I see why too. But I remember just a text coming across that says, "Mom's, mom's gone." Damn. And I just remember crying. It was so because we we had to shoot it in parts. It was so devastating. I blamed you. I was like, "No, you told me." Ah, nah, nah. Yeah. I cried and cried and cried. And we had that day we had shot the part where I was in the kitchen and it was all this food, mind you. They had 16 cakes because uh-huh. we had to keep doing different takes from different sides of me cutting the cake that day. I ate so much fucking cake that day and drunk so much water because it was the same time I'm drinking the gallon of water. I yeah. must have drunk three gallons of water during <laughs> shooting your thing, by the way. Girl, all I just remember was me crying and everybody stopping. I had people crying. I was crying so bad. They had to keep doing my makeup over and I would cry. Like, we could not get through that day for yeah. nothing. That was an eight-hour day. I think it took, like, 15 hours. Like, I was so messed up. And it was no point because my, my best friend was like, don't, it's no need to even come home. Yeah. Just go ahead. 
be here for the funeral. It's no need to come home right now yeah. because I still had to shoot or whatever. So the next day was the day that I did the barbershop scene, the, the hairdresser mm -hmm. scene. And I went to set and they started doing my makeup and started crying. Yo, I swear to God, this white lady just came out of nowhere. Not today. <laughs> not today. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You just cost us. And she, 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 she did her listen. She said, you will not be crying today. I do not care. She said, people die every day. My mom died. You know what we did? We cremated her and she's on my she's on my mantle. You will not be crying today. I swear to God. So yeah. I tell you, she was like this. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> All that shit. The makeup like lady. I was like, <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh my God! I said yeah, you're that, a mean lady. Yeah, she I'm said, "Look, I am sorry. Yeah, well, you costed us too much money yeah. yesterday. Yeah. No tears today. Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of complaints and everything. <laughs> Shit. They just was like, oh man. But the it's funny tough. thing is, it came out so good that they literally made that skit the premiere skit. Do you yeah. remember that? Yeah. Before yeah. the show even came on, yeah. they made that skit the premiere skit. Yeah. So that was the first freaking skit I had to see. Right. Yeah, While everybody was celebrating, bro, I was crying like a mug. Trying to see it worse than the news. <laughs> God damn. I'm, I'm like, try every time I try to cry, she make me laugh. And then every time I laugh, I'm like, I'm going to be bipolar by the time I get this. No, you was bipolar when you came <laughs> in. <laughs> trying to blame somebody. Right. Nah, we, just, we just attract But that's, that's some of the things that you have to deal with and, you know, doing stuff. Uh, to go back to Nick and Fu real quick, I was pitching a TV show before everything happened. And the craziest thing was... Um, Fu was a character in it, oh. and Nick was the face of the deck. So I had to watch both of them. I had to talk about Fu and see Nick in front of me as I'm trying to pitch. And I was pitching the week before, uh, I mean, the week after everything happened. So I remember getting the call, like, do you still want to do this or not? And I was like, no, because I feel like... Because both of them are in there, they're going to help me st sell this show. So I say this just to be continued. So you stopped it all? I didn't stop at all. I didn't stop at all. I got it, some some great things are happening. Good. So I'm so glad. It's, it's like, yeah. And they, the, same, the, the same thing happened with me. You, I don't know if you know that I did a, a um, cooking show mm -mm. on OWN. I did a cooking, a cooking nice. competition show on nice. OWN. And um, it was the week that... It was the week we had to film it. The week that um, Nick died, mm. Mm. and I was already scheduled to film way before anybody died. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I still had to film it, and I ended up winning. Yeah, nice. Winning five thousand dollars. Nice. Which is segue to me. Basically, I'm about to have my own cooking show, but we can't nice. really talk so much yeah. about that. But congratulations, um, bro. Thank you. But uh, I just remember the way that I cried. I was like, they ed of course they edited it out. Yeah. Just, because everybody was looking like, dang, she really must need that 5000 It yeah. wasn't about the 5000 It yeah. just was about, like... Keep going. It was just so much going on, and that was just like a... I can't believe I got a win in the midst of all of this stuff yeah. that that was going on. Yeah. You know, I don't even know if Fu had passed by then. I don't think Fu had passed yet. Because I, I don't think he had passed yet. I don't remember, but I just remember it just being so much going on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And at that time, I didn't even know if Kanisha was going to live or die. Yeah. Seriously. We were all like, what the hell's going on with her, you know? Yeah. And it was just so much. So I know, it, it reminds me of when Kanye's mom passed, I guess. You know, he still had to go to that concert knowing that his mom just died, even though he couldn't do anything but yeah. stand there and cry. It's like this, this, this life we live, the show must go on. Ain't no calling yeah. out. Yeah. Ain't no calling out. It's just like... Well, you can't... As much as you want to be there and, you know, so on and so on, it's like you've worked so much in your life. And I, I think it depends on what it is where... Like, I, I couldn't keep going necessarily if I knew someone was in a hospital. Yeah. You know, I would have to, like, be there for that moment. But when someone lets go, I feel like they'll be pissed at you for missing an opportunity... That it's like, you know, like Nick and Foo, it's like, nigga, this is what we work for. Right. Like, what you mean you're not going to do this? And, you know, who knows? You postpone something, then the people that's interested, not even interested. You know, this industry itself is just so, it's fast paced. It's, it's the energy, be the energy and moves. everything. You let one day go by, you let one opportunity go by, you never know if you'll get it again. It's like, I, I talk about that all the time. The energy here, it will pass you by. Yeah. If you get caught slipping... It yeah, will pass it'll you by. Pass you by. Literally, I got yesterday. I got a a freaking audition that was due today at ten thirty 
for American Horror Story. Mm. And I was like, I can't do it. Mm. I, I, and I tried to figure out every way that I could. Extension? We asked for an extension, and they said they couldn't because they, yeah. they just, they said, sorry for the short notice, da 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 yeah, yeah. But it was just like, I, I wanted to mentally get it done, and I know I probably could have if I would have pushed a little bit harder. Yeah. But I just had so much going on in my mental space to learn four pages right quick. Yeah. For something I may or may not get, I just didn't have the the, the strength. I'm not even gonna say the the I didn't have the, the I've just been so busy this yeah. week alone because I'm catching up from the week that I had COVID. Yeah. So now I'm I'm catching up and it's just so much and I know, a I disappointed. I know I disappointed my agent. I, I, but I hope I didn't. But you know, sh- they're understandable. But I just hope I didn't because it's just like, I think agents think that we just sitting around not doing nothing. Yeah. Yeah. And that's not it. I had a show last night all the way in Inglewood and it yeah. was just a lot. I could I just didn't do it. I just didn't do you it. You can't you can't let it I listen, and when I say you can't let an opportunity pass up and so forth and so on, I'm I'm saying that in the sense of, you know, this this is it's like there, there's a certain moment where it becomes that and there's a certain moment where go, you know, the the time will come again. Yeah. You know, things I've I've Sometimes missed an audition, but been able to meet with people, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because I've done previous stuff. Right. Uh, there's been times where, you know, there, there's so many things that happen, like even with Lena, Lena Way stuff, like, you know, I, your callbacks, your all this. So I, I'm just saying that because I put it out there, like, you know, don't miss an opportunity, sacrifice, sacrifice. And sometimes you need to have the good vibes all the way around and be be ready for it, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But you're right. They don't they don't understand. We still trying to do stuff. We tr- still trying to get our followers up. We so we're trying to do little stuff. <laughs> right, right. Competing with the people that work overtime. Right. That's all they do is videos. It's like, right. I, I can't make, I can't get two million followers yeah, right every now. Every hour posting something. I can't, I don't have time to do that because I right. really am doing things like, I just know that the way God is doing my life, I'm not going to get mine the way a lot of people are getting theirs now. Right. And But the thing is, I had to realize too, I have to evolve with the times. I still got to make some type of video. I still got to do some type of thing to stay relevant, but I can't. That's not my mission. Right. I want to be an Angela Bassett actress. I want to be a, b- a big actress in right. the game. I don't want to be known as a com- as an internet comedian. Right. Right. No. No shame to none of them, and yeah. they're getting money like they're eating. Right. And I, the thing is with me, I'm not attached to money. Yeah. I've already had it. I've yeah. already had the houses, the cars, and all that. So I'm not chasing any of that. Right. I'm okay. I was surprised when I got the car. I got the this. Ah. this I was. I was like, God, you giving out cars? Cause, nigga, I don't know how we gonna pay this car right. note, but I don't care. You clearly know, so that's not my business. But I'm just saying, I've already had all of that, so I'm not really chasing that. Mm. But it's a lot. It's it's a lot. They don't get it. It's a yeah. lot to this industry. Period. Yeah. And they just think like that. I'm sure they just think, oh, Shantae, she good. She can swing her on yeah. through with her name and all that, but. That ain't how it is. It be strokes, man. You know what I'm saying? We 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 still pushing. You know, trying to get people on my Patreon still trying to get people. It, it's so many apps coming out every day. And you just like, <laughs> I just wish I took one platform and put everything into that. Somebody could put, somebody should probably do that. Yeah, Have one like, thing where we pay. Really... I'd be so tempted to make me an OnlyFans page and show these people my areolas, but I'm like, Jesus, <laughs> Jesus I know that ain't the way you want me to go. But my God, those girls are eating, and I can do that quick. You know what I'm saying? I can show you a left butt cheek and go on, you know, that ain't going to take no show time. Show your feet. There's some feet. Foot I know. I, c- I could, but that's I don't want, I, I, I don't want it that way. I'm I trying to get the now. third titty right here, and I'm going to open one up. Oh, I can see me right now, no lie. I can see me. Getting money off of that and not doing another thing, okay? At, at all. That's why I can't. That's right. why I can't do that. Why are you at the Hamptons? <laughs> Just showing my feet. Yeah. Are those the feet? <laughs> you want to touch them? Oh, you a little Lulu. Here you go, girl. You be giving me all the money. <laughs> why is it Lulu Lulu? You Lulu Lulu. <laughs> Sorry, you silly, you silly. So we winding down though, y'all. I really do appreciate all the people. That tune in every week. All the people that are watching, thank you everybody that came on here. It's so good. Shout out to all of y'all. I see you, Quet. Quet, Quet. through. What up, Quet King? We ain't Quet been friends since we was kids, man. Quet. Um, Quet stink. Advice you get a world. Quet, Quet still like he's sick. 
He Quet, stink? No, no. <laughs> you ain't say nah, nothing. No, he wasn't no stinky. No, nah, I didn't hear you. Uh, Quet, Quet, nah, Quet was like one of the... Quet uh, said like he stink. He was like one of the stars of the football team. Like oh, he nice. took the, the school to the championship and they won and all that. Oh, Quet nice. was the man. Nice. He was the man. All right. He was short, but he got all the girls. He right. had dreads. He, he got all the girls. <laughs> Quet was, Quet was one of the cuties. Right, and see, right. me, I never, I was always the underdog lover, too. Right, So right. I never would mess yeah, with too. the one that uh, everybody liked. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how I ended up. Anyway, uh, such a depressing <laughs> moment just now. Uh, question, though. Um, advice you would give the world? Advice I would give the world. Uh, you know, since, since we talked about this life and death thing, you you got to live... And let fear be a, a part of your motivation. Mm. It's very rewarding to conquer something that you might have feared um, and stared away from. Because sometimes it's not even as hard as you uh, think it is. And understand that we all kind of have uh, our own issues. You mm. know what I mean? So knowing that there's a lot of people that probably relate to you, they just don't speak out about it. So... Let let fear be a part of your motivation. That's dope. See? See, y'all? <laughs> she... Uh, you know what I'm saying? Shantae is a real one, Live life. She's approachable. You know I mean? <laughs> if you see her, like, don't do the most. But you see uh, her, you, you can see me with a cigarette, approach me. <laughs> you, can, you can approach her. You can approach her. You see, that that's good. And I leave y'all with this. My nephew called the other day. I was I happened to be on live doing beans here. I be going live sometimes. <laughs> I just be wanting... I be wanting some of my friends sometimes just to see what 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 I'm doing when I'm not doing what y'all think I'm doing. So I went live the other day doing uh, Kanisha's daughter's hair, and my nephew called, and he calls me he calls me all the time, but he just called me just to say I love you, mm. and um, he, he prayed for me live, which is crazy, and it was so amazing. But he left me with something that was just awesome. He said, um, "The Bible says you reap what you sow, so." That's in everything, and you cannot reap laziness and su- expect success. Mm. So just remember, whatever you're putting out there, you are going to get it back. It is a given, no matter what it is. So if you're not seeing some things like you really want to see them, you might just need to figure out what you're reaping. Mm. I mean, what you're sowing. You might want to figure out what you're sowing. If, you don't, if you're not getting the love that you expect, you might not be given the love that you should be given. All right? So I definitely want to leave y'all with that. Nick, you want to leave any of my friends? Any of my fans? I don't like the uh, word fans. I think that's what yeah. I mean. um, Any of my friends? Supporters. <laughs> well, what's today, Friday? Supporters is a good word. Yeah. Today's Friday. We're going into the weekend. Talk, um, Nick. I would say this. I would say uh, do something you're afraid of this weekend. You know? Why not? Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. That's real. You're going to die anyways, nigga, so, yeah. you know. You're going to die anyways. <laughs> That's you my say, granddad told me. Yeah. You say nobody making it out alive. When I was a Real kid, fire. I was afraid of airplanes. I was driving, my granddad said, you see, you see that plane right there? He said, if it's meant for you to die on a plane, that motherfucker land on you. Yeah, yeah. And I was probably like five or six years old, and I'm sitting there like, what the hell? Yeah. But it, it just made sense. So I kind of face any of my fears. I kind of mm-hmm. tackle them head on. Mm-hmm. So I would encourage anybody. Whatever you're afraid of, you know, as long as it's positive, don't right. go do crack, nigga. Don't whatever be afraid, afraid of yeah. a gun and shoot yeah. yourself. Yeah, whatever yeah, you're no. afraid of, um, <laughs> especially if you positive. feel like it's something just that's holding you back, you know, go see what's on the other side of that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's Real why talk. sister sitting here in Los Angeles. I was yeah. like, man, whatever. I ain't got nothing to lose. Mm-hmm. I want to um, shout out my girls, Bourbon. Hey, we should put that on the table, right? There. I should, <laughs> and it looked like y'all drunk it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this my girl's bourbon line. Let me make sure this my girl's bourbon line though. Yeah, she likes it. This the brown sugar. Nah, bourbon. this ain't her bourbon. Uh, you holding it like it is. My bag. I don't mean to um. I ain't, brown sugar bourbon ain't her bourbon, but I got a friend who got a bourbon line. Tell it out, let me. Mimi, shout out to Mimi. She got mm-hmm. a bourbon line. I'm looking like wait a minute. This don't look like her bourbon line. Yeah, Mimi, hit us up. We we'll support your bitch. Mimi got a new bourbon out. It's it. called um Poppies. I like it. That's who I thought this was. This all sitting up here like. Is that I my like girl's it. bourbon? But uh, my girl got a new um, a new bourbon out, new whiskey called Poppies. So look at that up. You can find Shantae. Shantae, tell them where they can find Y'all. you at and, and some stuff to look look out for and where they can just go look at you today. Listen, all things at C. Wayne's. Everything YouTube, Instagram, uh, Patreon, all those things. Look, 
I got a series that I drop every Wednesday called Drop by Jokes. John Cia did. Uh, <laughs> episode two, I do do early access on my Patreon as well as uh, discounts and so forth and so on. But I do drop uh, episodes on YouTube. And her episode is up. Uh, Man, my right episode now. was not fair. It was First amazing. All, they, a lot of people love your episode. <laughs> it's not fair because I live in a born neighborhood. <laughs> Something wasn't laughing, and <laughs> I no, got it. No, because in. you were telling stories, and in the series, you got thirty seconds in between your destination to like make pockets of laughter. I don't know how to not and tell she, stories. She was telling stories that lasted a minute, <laughs> and the punchline, you like, you got three strikes. So I'll tell you, like. Mm. <laughs> No, I say you're doing this on purpose now. Cut nah. the cameras. And you Cut know what's cameras. crazy? I got to be more firm because a lot of people, I've been letting people get away with stuff. And then I go back and watch and go, that person should have got a strike. But I'll be so happy to just see my friends. Your friends, right? I got to find people I don't know. <laughs> so I could be like, mm, you know, I'm, with, I'm with my homie right now. I don't yeah, even know. Like, no, Let's go ride. <laughs> it's like she said doo-doo. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta work on my uh, freeze face. No, you I'm got, getting better. You gotta, uh, yeah. You just probably gotta get people to who you don't really yeah. know or care about. You all smiling, John C is so <laughs> lovable. You like, I was like John C. You and know, that darn was actually well. we filmed that kind of like right after Nick passed yeah, too. Yeah. So we we was kind of right still like just happy to see each yeah. other and happy to see that everybody was okay yeah. and stuff. Golly, and around that time, man, I was so scared I was gonna die. Was you? Was you? Was you like that too? Well, I, because there I was so did many have deaths. pockets of moments because it was so close. Yeah. you know, you do know people die every day, but like I had my grandma pass, I had food, I had Nick, and you, you were just like with everybody that was close in our vicinity. You was like, ah, right, should I stay inside? Am I next? <laughs> right. Like, I was so scared. Like, man, right. I was afraid good for a good month and a half, especially. Right. Oh my I gosh. stopped smoking with other people. I was like, you know, because the whole lacing stuff, I said, you know what? I don't care who got weed. I'm not smoking nobody's stuff. I've been, been stopped doing that when COVID. Not I that mean, I smoke. Yeah. I don't smoke weed, guys. Calm yeah. down. If I did, I stopped <laughs> doing COVID. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> my birthday party, I bought like $65 worth of singles for people to smoke by, by themselves. So they would, I bought like a whole bunch. It was like a whole bunch of them on the yeah, table yeah, where people yeah. could get their own split yeah, because really it was weird. just like, you, just, you know, the yeah. world, the world. The thing changed. This but I, fun. I'm not big now. I'm just, <laughs> oh, all right, y'all. Shout out to everybody. I see you, Brooklyn. Thank you, Kia, for staying in. Business phone. Thank you, everybody on the chat. Mommy, I love you. I know you're watching. You're one of my greatest, biggest supporters. I think you're so dope. Um, so I'll say thanks. Thank you. Is there anything else you want to say or anything you just... I'm so thirsty. Oh, I my can't God. can't drink well, it because it has a label on it. Oh, no. We got water, plain so water. So I want to pull it up. You should have said but something. But every time John C. act like she about to get off, I'm like, I can't wait to sip this juice. <laughs> And she over there sipping right now. Nah. I gotta have the ice no, no, coffee. no. This was really, really fun and amazing. <laughs> I appreciate it. Absolutely. I appreciate Thank you for coming through. I didn't want you, you to think this was the same that you always do. No, and all this that. was really dope. I'm yeah. so proud of you. And, and congratulations. This, this Thank is a you. Hit. People yeah. gonna people going be on like this is how I want the real John C show. Yeah. And if anybody still it, I got it right here. But this is <laughs> how this is how I want the real John C show. I want it because I don't believe in celebrities. Yeah. I believe that it's different occupations and yeah. we just chose an occupation to be in the limelight yeah but i think we're all the same and i think people need to see that we all the same we all have the same struggles we yeah. all went through whatever so the john c show i want to have like mariah curry beside yeah. my cousin <laughs> i want my cousin my, bring out my cousin janine on the show come on janine and you know janine's favorite person who she always loved was bow wow so we sitting there talking to me like yeah girl i remember when you said the bow wow poster bow wow here yeah. Come on out here, Bow Wow. And she be like, nigga, no! Like, that's the type of talk show. <laughs> Wouldn't it be dope, though, with celebrities and regular people? Jerry Springer for uh, for uh, celebrities. <laughs> like, no! It's, it's going to be that thing. It's going to be dope. No, that's, gonna be, that's I want it to be a really nighttime um, talk show, like kind of like the Monique show was. That's dope. But I want it, I want it where, you know, you got two people who you have no idea. Like, this yeah. right here is my gynecologist from back home right. in D.C. <laughs> She used to do me free when I first started in this and stuff like that. Give it up for ASAP Rocky, y'all. That's right, y'all. Her favorite person <laughs> is Rihanna and ASAP. Come on, bring out the baby. You know what I'm saying? The baby's three. Wow. I actually <laughs> love it. And my guy that calls is sitting here like. <laughs> <laughs> 
And she's sitting up there telling them everything the she like about The real show is to have the gynecologist look at Rihanna <laughs> as, as he's a fan. <laughs> like, how would that go? How right. would you be able to get through this doctor's appointment? Right. <laughs> like, oh, my God. This is, did you... I should have seen a damn dentist because, oh, my gosh. <laughs> you, even a dentist. It's still, it's still a fan having to work. Or the, any type of procedure or somebody that they're fanning over. That's hilarious. They then, be a, like, look at your teeth. Yeah. No one would ever know you had a cavity. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> I'm feeling baby. Baby, I'm feeling Rihanna's cavity. Ah, look. <laughs> let me FaceTime you while I put this, while she go under. <laughs> Here, spit. spit. Right. <laughs> spit. Rihanna's spit, guys. Take a picture. Had a whole thing in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst. Hey, y'all, tune in next week. My man Alex Scott will be here. Another humble comedian just doing this thing out here in L.A. Make sure y'all tune in. We are going to have some of the bigger, better names. Not saying that my other people weren't the greatest because they really are, too. They're stars. They're on their way just like everybody else. But um, thank you once again for tuning in, yo. Yes. Thank you, Shantae, for coming. Thank you for joining having me. And Nick. me. Thank we, you for watching. We love it. We love, love you. It. Congratulations love on everything that's going on. Many blessings. I know it more and more and more. I speak I speak many blessings over your life and peace. Continue peace and stop stop flirting with my all my friends are straight. It's like <laughs> Good night, y'all. Oh well, it's daytime, but goodbye, y'all. Goodbye, Thank you, y'all. y'all. Peace. Love you, y'all. Love you. Bye, mother. Bye, mother.